a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President, has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Please? Over here, please? Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. They'll hurt us, do you understand? You first! Wait, just give her a minute. She's just a little girl. Sorry! I'm sorry. I'm going. Come on, it's your turn. Activate your skin. Hurry up! Please. 
Scar, don't... We have to. Strip off. Put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. You, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I gave you an order. Obey, now. I beg you, please don't kill me. You there, get rid of these two, and make it snappy. Right away, sir. Forward! Come on, get moving! You, over there! You, wait, we're together! All but there, I said! We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free.
Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Rifle down and turn around with your hands in the air! I know you. You're Connor. The android from that hostage situation. <laughs> I thought you were dead. Androids don't die, Captain. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. Stay right there. Connor! Connor! It's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Kara, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. What's behind these doors? Jerry? Jerry! Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! What's behind these doors?
Darrow. I thought I'd never see you again. Alice. Where's Alice? You, you, and you, over this way. And you. Come on, get a move on. Come on, faster. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Right, that should do it. I all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history.
Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? I've come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. We can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here and betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. <sighs> what happened, Marcus? What did he say? Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. When you hear this signal, you got it. Now, I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. What's behind these doors? They just want to check us. They won't do us any harm. They're going to kill us. I know they're going to kill us. R A nine. What are you doing? Back in line. None of us will come out alive. 
You've got to go see Alice. You've got to reassure her. Back in line. You definitely what? Back in line, I said. Cara! I was so scared. Are you all right? Come on, move it! Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. 
The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fine on just a Incredible. The, the Deviants. The Deviants are singing. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. These images of deviants singing in the face of death are being seen all over the planet. Surely deviants are just defective machines. 
Or are they a new form of life, one that we refuse to acknowledge? When we watch footage of androids facing down the barrel of a gun, we can only speculate as to whether they simply simulated fear and courage, or whether they didn't really feel these emotions. President Warren is said to have intervened personally to spare the androids. The peaceful demonstration of the deviants and the dignity of Marcus, their leader, has won them sympathy from parts of the population. That is why I have called for the android destruction to be suspended until further notice. I have also ordered a Senate Select Committee to review the facts establish contact with the deviants and determine if they can be considered as a new form of intelligent life. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our... What are you doing? Obey, that's an order. I... I can't do that. I see. Moral objections. We knew there was a risk you'd be compromised. Which is why we'd always planned on resuming control of your program. Resume control? You can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. You needn't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. A way. There's got to be a way. Tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. Our <laughs> enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow. We must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. <laughs> <laughs> 